good evening dear friends mass in g by franz schubert and sacred motors madras musical association choir will be presenting their music for us therefore kindly be seated and do not be walking in between and disturbing the general flow of people a very good evening to one and all i am immensely pleased and delighted to welcome our beloved parish priest our dynamic administrator reverend fathers sisters of various congregations brothers and sisters in christ jesus the choir of madras musical association is a 90 strong with a good blend of young and old voices and is one of india's oldest squares and it is in chennai based the madras musical association or mma as it's called is currently in its 129th year of existence they perform numerous concerts recitals and shows throughout the world the mma choir has several laurels to its credit on both national and international stage the choir performed at the 2000 sydney olympics and also sang for the pope at the vatican performed at the london olympics in 2012 and also in vienna in 2016 also won gold and silver diplomas at the asia pacific choir games in colombo in 2017 the mma choir has also presented concerts at singapore dubai and abu dhabi incidentally i am proud to inform this august audience that we will be listening to a latin mass in this basilica of ours after a period of 6 decades 60 years definitely it's a proud moment for all you music lovers tonight the choir will be rendering some famous sacred motets and present the famous franz schubert mass number no. 2 in g major in latin the choir will also render music in english tamil and malayalam this awesome choir is conducted by maestro agustin paul the assistant director is ebenezer arun kumar the choir is accompanied by a very talented jeremiah christopher i now hand over the choir madras musical association the more than 60 member choir of the madras musical association would like to give our gratitude to reverend father arul raj parish priest santom cathedral basilica and reverend father josephy thomas administrator santom cathedral basilica for inviting us to this musical evening our first in this in this basilica a special thanks to mr mm gasper the choir conductor of santom cathedral basilica for coordinating with the reverend fathers for this evening's program mr mm gasper had announced the details of our conductors accompanies so i'm not repeating that but i would just like to add that we have cook me on the flute and anya on the clarinet too the first piece we would be rendering this evening is i was glad 
glad when they said unto me, words from Psalm 122 was written by Huber M. Parry for the coronation of King Edward VII in Westminster Abbey and has been performed at all subsequent coronations. It is a beautiful piece sung by two choirs and we will hear it again on the 6th of May 2023 at the coronation of King Charles III. The second piece, Ave Verum Corpus, Hail True Body, is a motet composed by W.A. Mozart in 1791. This Latin piece was composed for the Feast of Corpus Christi and would be conducted by our assistant music director, Ebenezer Arun Kumar. The third number, Panis Angelicus, Bread of the Angel Host, was composed by St. Thomas Aquinas as part of a series of hymns composed for the Feast of Corpus Christi in the 13th century. This piece was set to music in 1872 by Caesar Frank, a French musician.
The next three numbers would be as follows. A solo by Roshni Sharon, Ave Maria, is a popular piece composed in 1853 by Bach. In 1859, Charles Gounod, a French composer, superimposed a melody which is very slightly changed the piece. This improvised Bach Gounod version is a popular piece with opera singers and choirs. This will be followed by a euphonic Tamil English composition, Elam Yeshuve, composed by Y. Nyanamani of Arupukote for Dr. Anand Chellappa and his Christian Medical College friends, and arranged by our own director and conductor, Mr. Augustine Paul. Adithada, Uri Malayalam Ganamana. Idin te Rejideyum Sangeedavum Wesley P. Kurvila. Rekshayin Kayop.
We have a solo now by Prashant Gasper, a member of this basilica. It's another Ave Maria, but this piece was first composed by Franz Schubert from Walter Scott's 1810 popular narrative poem, The Lady of the Lake, and called Ellen's Third Song. It was loosely then translated into German. This is one of his most popular works, and both the Ave Marias that you heard are going to hear by Prashant and the one you heard from Roshni are the ones that are most often performed and sung. Our next piece after this would be the Lord's Prayer, also called the Our Father or Peter Noster. This is what Jesus taught us as the way to pray. Charles Gartner has set these verses from the Gospel of St. Matthew to music. The beauty of this prayer is the sense of solidarity, knowing that Christians around the globe are praying together and these words always unite us. The next is our most important piece, the Latin number, Mars in G by Franz Schubert, composed in early March, 1815. The Mass consists of six movements, Kyrie, which is, Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Gloria, glory be to God on high, and on earth, peace to men of goodwill. Credo, which is the Nicene Creed. Sanctus, holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Benedictus, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest ending with Agnus Dei, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us and give us peace. It's the whole worship order in song. And just before we sing the Mass in G by Franz Schubert, I would re request Reverend Father Josephy Thomas to, admit, uh, to speak to us just before the Mass. And after this, we would end our repertoire with George Frederick's Handel's Hallelujah Chorus and with the priestly blessing, also known as the Aaronic Blessing, from the sixth chapter of the Book of Numbers, verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you, a classical sacred choral composition by John Rutter and is the setting of a biblical benediction. Over to the choir.
Kindly be seated. The choir members will go to the choir loft. The choir loft on top, to that area, the choir members kindly go. Reverend Father Arul Raj, the rector and parish priest of this church, will honor Mr. Augustine Paul with a shawl. Appreciate him. We appreciate him for his every moment made music. Congratulations, sir. Friends, you have all listened to and enjoyed every bit of this musical performance and we should be grateful that we have wonderful singers among us to make us feel great, enlivening and spiritually elevating. It is indeed said by Saint Augustine, singing once is equal to several times praying and therefore this singing should make many to think that singing is an art where we imbibe the culture of making use of our own body and our own talents in order to bring out the best in us, particularly in the field of music. Music empowers people, entrails people and enlightens people and more than that, it takes us to a spiritual plane. Therefore, this music should be a classic example for us to imbibe as well as to imitate and learn the art of singing and playing musical instrument. The string instruments, the percussions and the instruments that are associated with rhythm are there for us to enliven our music. And in all our churches, wherever we are, to more of sound rather than music and singing. So therefore, we need to preserve this culture of beautiful singing in multiple groups and different ambience to be provided for a beautiful singing. Sir Augustine Paul, we salute you for the great thing that you are doing and all the members of the choir. We feel so honored. Continue this ministry and bring up the younger generation into the streamlight so that we have this culture carried on and continued for years to come. At the, before I close, let me express, we are happy that our rector and the cathedral parish priest was kind enough to provide us with all these opportunities to have these church, uh, uh, all the arrangements made over here. We will appreciate him for his good gesture. <laughs> Finally, friends, it is not enough that we sing, listen and go back. We should also have an attitude of gratitude. God provides us with the talents. And if we fail to make use of our talents, we are denying God an opportunity to empower us. And having this in mind, let us seek as many as possible from our vicinity to come over and participate in such enlivening music, learn the notations, learn the rudiments of music, and make the music become the soul of our liturgical services and our prayer services. Thank you for being with us. May God bless you all. Thank you, Father, for providing this opportunity. And thank you, all members. Salute to you for having done 
a wonderful job. May God bless you all. Now we have the word of thanks given by the president of MMA, Mary Rodriguez. After that, we have the Hallelujah choirs. The Lord bless you and keep you. Those coming, please. Uh, I thank, on behalf of the Madras Musical Association, uh, Father Arul Raj, the parish priest of this basilica, and the administrator, Father Jose V. Thomas, for encouraging us and uh, giving us the opportunity and the permission to come and sing here. It is a very, uh, it's a big landmark for our choir itself, even though we are 128 years old. Uh, we sing in different locations, and this is a beautiful location, historical location for us. And uh, to be able to sing this in Chennai, in our own hometown, uh, we are very grateful to God and to all of you for having facilitated this for us. Uh, I thank the revival singers for ushering and the hospitality. They have taken a lot of trouble in putting all this together for us. It's been many days of work. Um, uh, especially Mr. Gasper, the choir conductor, who was also helping in coordinating with the church, their fathers, and all of us. So we are very, very grateful for this opportunity for us. Thank you so much. Dear yeah, friends, we'll have just two more songs. One, Hallelujah. Beautiful song when the song is uh, sung. We shall stand and praise God for this wonderful opportunity. And then we'll have the benediction and the benediction song. With that, it, the performance will be, uh, will get over. So I request the choir master. I request the church uh, choir, if members are here, to join us in singing the Hallelujah Chorus. All of you, please stand, arise.
shall give a big applause and praise God for this beautiful singing. God bless you all. Dear friends, may Almighty God bless all the singers and all those who listen, all those who are listening this beautiful singing. May God bless all the families and bring God's peace. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we'll sing that diction. Thank you.